In this episode, some easy hacks to help you save money. Now, if you have any old baking trays or pans or whatever that have heavy stains like that, don't throw them away because I'm going to show you just how to clean that up. So all you need is some baking soda and some hydrogen peroxide. Now, hydrogen peroxide, you're probably wondering, hey, what's that? Uh, so chemically, uh, it's completely safe. So I'm just going to do half the tray first so that you can see the difference later of how well this works. Mix that up a little bit, spread that out. Now I'm just going to let it sit for a couple of hours. So I've just rinsed off and rubbed it a little bit and you can see how well that has cleaned off the stains. I know that not all the stains are gone, like there's little specks right here, but you just repeat the same process again and I'm sure it'll be gone in no time. A great way to remove these kind of stains at the bottom of your pan is just to simply use baking soda and vinegar. Put the baking soda over the stain first. I'll just do it on this big stain here first. And now I'm going to put my vinegar in there. So what the baking soda does, it actually lifts the stain up with the vinegar. So just keep adding the vinegar until the baking soda stops fizzing. Now I'm going to scrub away the stain here. So this is where I put no baking powder and you can see the difference. It didn't get rid of the stain completely, but it did get rid of the majority of it. So you can just repeat the same process over again until it's all gone and then you're gonna have a brand new tin. Well, pot. <laughs> Now when you get to the bottom of your spreads, don't throw it away because you can actually use it for one more use. All you have to do is get some vanilla ice cream or whatever your favourite flavour ice cream is. Put my ice cream in there. Three second rule. <laughs> Mix it all up. So now my boring vanilla ice cream is Reese's peanut butter chocolate spread ice cream. Mm. Oh, I feel cold. I got sensitive too. <laughs> so this is much better than an ordinary flavored ice cream. Well, I think so anyway. And I got one more use out of my favorite spread. So if you've reached the end of your toothpaste, don't throw it away because the chances are there's still a lot more toothpaste inside there. I'm going to teach you just how to get it all out. So one way is to actually use the end of your toothbrush. Scrape it like this. Another method you could try is to actually use an edge of something like a cupboard or a bench top. You just put a little bit of pressure and pull down as it pushes all the toothpaste up to the head of the tube. Now I just put it on my toothbrush. See? A lot came out and it was really, really easy to come out. Plus, I reckon you've got another two, three days in here. A great way to save money is to actually save all your $5 notes. So every time you see a $5 note, grab it and put it away. It isn't a huge commitment because you don't see $5 bills very often. So I have a friend that did exactly the same thing and she had a stack of $5 notes this thick. I don't know how much that was, but I'm guessing it would have been a lot. So every time you see a $5 note in your wallet, make sure you grab it out and put it away. Most dispensers are actually going to give you more soap than you need. So why not solve that problem and use rubber bands? Tie rubber bands here. So by doing this, your soap is going to last twice as long. It's only giving me a small amount, which is all I need to wash my hands properly. Hey, every little bit counts, you know. You save a little bit here, a little bit there. It all adds up. And this is very good if you're Kyamkana. What is Kyamkana? Stingy as... There are many ways you can save your leftover snacks, but this one makes it airtight without having to get another container or something. Grab some aluminium foil and an iron. We're gonna wrap the aluminium foil around the opening of the bag and then we're gonna iron it. It is now completely airtight and it's just like a brand new bag of crisps. It only took a second under the iron and it's a great way to save your snacks. So instead of going out and spending money on buying a stand for your phone, why not just use paper clips? First, grab the outside bit, bend it up like this, and then you're going to see the inside bit with the end part. Fold that up, and that's all there is to it. So now I'm just going to put my phone into the stand like this. Voila! <laughs> it works. 
Now I'm gonna teach you how to make another kind of stand, but this one is for your tablets. All you need are some pencils and some rubber bands. Grab the three pencils first, tie the rubber band right at the top of the pencils. Spread your pencils out and make a teepee, and then with this pencil, make a little ledge, okay? So I'm gonna tie this pencil onto these other two pencils here. So here's what it looks like when it's done, and that is all there is to it, my friends. Really simple, and it will save us some money. Booms. Did you know many places actually offer discounts if you bring your own cup or food container? For example, if you bring your own Starbucks tumbler to Starbucks, they will give you 50 cents off your coffee. Just think about it, 50 cents off one cup of coffee, the next one, another 50 cents, so that's one dollar. So two, two coffees, you save one dollar. Four coffees, you save two dollar. Fantastic, right? So say you need a grater for a dish and you're never gonna use it again. What are you gonna do? You're gonna make one for yourself, baby. Don't go out and buy one. First of all, you need a tin. So I'm just gonna hammer some holes in my lid. And this, my friends, is what it looks like. I'm gonna grate my carrot. My grater grated my carrot very, very, very finely. So this grater is probably better for parmesan cheese or something like that, but I didn't have any in my fridge and I didn't want to go out and buy it because I'm trying to save money. So since I had a carrot in my fridge, so I thought I'd just grate the carrot and you can see that it works. It is a quick fix, but at least it saves you money instead of going out and buying one just for that one-time usage, right? And we've come to the end of yet another episode. Now, some of you may or may not know that I've started designing our own merchandise and we've got some stuff up on sale baby so go check it out at tandemmerch.com you might find something you like also you can follow me on instagram at rjt99 and if you like this video subscribe baby and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can get notified every time a video comes out or you can download the free click no app to watch most of our videos before they hit youtube thanks for watching Ding.